Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Arganian's Puzzle Box. I um, really like uh, the fact that you've taken an interest into my project. This is the Skybox Volume 11. So I've got my Unreal Engine scene over in here and uh, I want to show you what you're going to get. So when you download the project, you will have an Animated Nebula Volume 11 folder. So if you go in there, you'll have three folders. The camera work one, not very important, just some cameras that I've set up for you guys. But then you've got a maps folder in the planet system, which contains the skybox, the textures, the black hole, which is also in the project, and the planet face for your purposes, for you know whatever you might need it for. Basically, in the maps folder, we're going to double click that, and we have two maps. Uh, there's the AGRI example map, which is the one that you see open over here. And then the overview one is where you'll see multiple uh, spheres which will have the materials to showcase so we're just going to do well we're actually in the map we don't need to double click it uh, this is one of the skyboxes that we've got which um let's just have a look which one that is this is skybox um 03 i believe yeah there we go 03 and the alpha for that uh this is where we've got the planet face so this is a sort of a mesh a very basic mesh with just a parallax occlusion material on it this is really for you to kind of play around and do whatever you'd like but feel free to replace that with something actually that looked a lot better um, the skybox itself is a blueprint the black hole is also a blueprint so let's just go to the black hole and as you can see the black hole itself does actually affect the background of the skybox which is really neat so you can do some really interesting effects with this um with this black hole which is as i said to you it is a um, it is a black hole that's controlled by blueprints so there's loads of things in here to be done but if you'd like to see more on that just have a look on my channel there's a tutorial that goes through the black hole creation and all that for it as well but we're here to talk about skyboxes so let's have a look so with the skybox created uh let's just go through the available options in here so you are able to change the tint on the skybox to whatever you may like uh think about you know making it red green blue or any combination of that uh, then you can uh, drop in the textures that you'd like to use uh, of the eight textures that are in the pack and eight alphas you've also got the ability to crank up the brightness which will actually decrease the brightness of the black hole so uh, sorry of the of the skybox so the more you go the darker it gets and then the lighter you go the lighter it gets the, the smaller number i wouldn't go below 0 0.7 to be honest but um because it doesn't look as good uh, uh below that but yeah 0 0.8 is actually a pretty good number for me and then with this in mind we've also got a saturation that we can work on getting the skybox a lot more saturated we've also got an extra cube map that can be added and this is by the way this is independent of the first cube map that you're loading and this is allowing you to have two different skyboxes at the same time in the in the same thing now if you want to rotate skybox number one then you rotate the blueprint and if you want to rotate skybox number two you have a material function to do that and it's called cube map rotation which will allow you to rotate that second skybox uh, you're also able to set the flow direction so what does this flow direction do well basically um let me just go back to it so basically what is what happens is if you select a texture so let me just go in the texture folder in order to drop that in and you'll you'll like this it's really neat uh i've got this flow map here so you can add this uh texture and with that added we can now tell it to go into a direction so let's use a big number and now you can see the sky box just the sky box not the stars is traversing in that direction and then it sort of loops on itself to continue doing this sort of animation so you can see that if with the right setup with the right sort of combination you can get some really a really sweet effect of this uh particular effect right um, and you can change the direction if you'd like to go in a different one, maybe like that, spread out, or I'm using number three for no specific reason. I've just thought maybe number three is going to be a good number to work with. Um, and then you have a sun mass threshold as well. So let me show you what that does. So let's assume the sun disk that we've got over here, let's assume it's sitting right like that, right? So it's in this dark area of the nebula. Now, if you increase the sun mask threshold, the nebula alpha map will actually um you know basically get the sun to stop being visible but if you move the sun around you are able to get these really cool rays because the sun is hitting the alpha now how cool is that eh and it's really nice because then you put it into an area where there's no uh you know not enough to block it and then it won't get blocked but you can put it somewhere around here uh, let me just try and be a bit more specific so somewhere around here and then we increase the 
mask threshold and as you can see even there we can actually uh, get it to be hidden right so that's pretty cool and then over here we have the alpha strength which this is in relation to the stars that the stars are on a different layer so if we decrease the alpha you'll notice at the first cube map you'll notice that now the stars are coming through the nebula quite a lot but if we increase that then almost no stars pass through just a tiny specks here and there right so that's pretty cool it allows you for a lot more control over your um, you know your desired look um, definitely don't go with too large numbers there's no real point into that and um, then we have the stars controls themselves where we can actually saturate or desaturate the stars and we can also increase the intensity so for example these large stars have added the intensity of one so now we can see them but i could make them a lot more intense which is not going to be looking very great i can also do it for the stars in the background and the more intense they are the more they can actually come through the alpha as trying to block them right um, these are the star textures that we've got in here, so they're set up. We don't have anything on the extra cube map color, but just to, just to show you how that functions, let's just select uh, number 3 again, for example, and add it in there. And then we need to also add its alpha, so we'll add that in there. And now what we can do, because we've got the same sort of cube map twice, uh, we can go over here into the rotation and we can rotate that. And you'll notice how it's sort of rotates about right so that's where we that's where it is right now and let's have a look at the brightness is 1.2 so we could do a 0 0.8 so now it's a lot brighter so now i've got two two nebulas in the same scene right that's pretty cool right anyway let's remove that for now and let's have a look um well, actually, we're kind of done with the settings, to be honest. But let's have a look at the, you know, some other nebulas, but not before I show you the material setup. So if we edit the uh, blueprint, um, we can click the dome over here and double click the material. So all the material functions are in here as well, but they're controlled for the blueprint at the minute. So we can open the parent material and it's quite straightforward. We've got a sun control here, which allows our sun to pass through the nebula or be hidden by the alpha. We've got the flow map set up in here that allows our skybox to move when we set the flow map. Uh, this is the flow map setup. And then we have the star generator and the extra cube map. So it's quite straightforward and everything is pretty much explained. And there's also a tutorial on my YouTube channel that shows you how to make this anyway. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's just uh, showcase the skyboxes, right? Because that's I think that's why we're all here. So let's uh, have a look at number one. Um, and this is, uh, I'm going to set the texture and the uh, alpha. So this is number one, very cool skybox. Uh, there's a lot of sort of elements in it and it's really wild, very alien uh, in my opinion. Um, then we can have a look at number two. By the way, this is very important that you guys tweak around with the settings because all of these skyboxes have their own uses and their own sort of strengths and advantages. So you definitely want to play around with the brightness, with the amount of stars that are coming through. Otherwise, you won't get the, the most out of it. We've obviously seen number three, so let's go to number four. This is number four. This is a bit more, you know, flamey, <laughs> is that, if that's the right word. Um, a lot more stuff going on in here as well. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, let's have a look at uh, number five. And number five is more of a blue tint and it's got this sort of core stuff in here going on. Uh, you know, I really wanted to go for like a very dramatic look on the on the on this one. Now let's have a look at uh, number six over here. Number six will need a lower brightness, and this is more of a it's got more of a horror kind of feel to it. There's some elements going on in there as well. By the way, um, actually using the cameras will give you a far more interesting effect because the cameras themselves are set up to. Uh, showcase these nebulas in a far better fashion um, and now let's just go over and set to number seven uh, so this is number seven let's just have a look so number seven it's got a lot of stars in it um, as you as you can see and I think a 0 0.8 probably makes it look better um, if we pilot the camera, that also, you know, showcases what's what this uh, skybox is all about. And it's all about these lights 
uh, that are everywhere, uh, bigger stars around, so that's pretty cool. And then um, I believe, let's just go to number 8. And yeah, number 8 definitely requires a lot less, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, a lot less brightness, so a 0 0.6, 0 0.5 might even be better. And this one, I really wanted to go for the very wild look. And you're noticing all these shapes are really fantastical. And I thought, you know, I'm going to add this into the into the mix. Because I'm really, I'm actually quite happy with it. It's an interesting, it's an interesting nebula because it's got, it wraps around and it's really good to combine with the other nebulas, uh, basically, rather than on its own. So it's really good for the background of, of what's going on, right? So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this, uh, watching this video about this break breakdown of this uh, project. Uh, feel free to take a look at my other projects and there will be more to come, uh, more of these showcases that I will be doing soon. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel.